A toolkit is only as good as its users. Here's a user of Whirly Globe Mapley, Dark Sky. Dark Sky is a really popular weather app for iOS and Android, and it uses Whirly Globe Mapley to display its radar data. Here we are looking at a high res radar display over Mississippi, and it's using the toolkit. Now for a boring slide. Whirly Globe Mapley is an open source mobile force first geospatial toolkit. What that means is we do it for mobile, iOS, and Android. Geospatial, it's all about displaying geodata. And it's uh, released under the Apache 2.0 license, which means it's really good for commercial work. You don't have to do anything, you just put your app out there. It uses OpenGL ES and Metal, and it's super, super fast. You can go 60 or 30 frames a second, depending on your device. You can do both a globe and a map. A lot of weather apps use Whirly Globe Mapley. This is another one called Sail Drone Forecast. We're looking at precip data there, now temperature. And it's really flexible in data loading and data display, which is why people like it. Ooh, it can also do wind particles. And who doesn't love wind particles? I love wind particles. You should too. It can also do a crazy night-day hybrid with an atmosphere in the back and even the sun and the moon. Now for a boring slide. There's four groups of users of Whirly Globe Mapley. The big ones are weather and aviation. We've also got a few map users and some education users. Let's look at one of those. This is National Geographic World Atlas. They did a version of their app with Whirly Globe Mapley, and it was really interesting. We took their maps, ripped them apart into images and vector pieces, and then reconstructed them on the mobile side. As a result, we had a super fast app that looked really great. But let's be honest, most users are aviation. Sometimes weather, usually aviation. This is an aviation app from Seattle Avionics called FlyQ VFB. VFB means electronic flight bag. You'll see a lot of the apps have that name in them. The toolkit is really good for aviation apps like this because it can display a ton of data. It's very flexible about turning it on and off. It can run in multiple windows if you want, and it's just generally very robust. There's a lot of layers going on here, a lot of threading, you name it. You can also do cool features like infinite panning for a 2D map, because why not? But a much more complex feature we can do is map projections. We can display a map projection with a flat map. We can overlay data from a map projection onto the globe. We can do whatever we like which is useful for things like UK Met Office app. They're displaying this data in British National Grid because that's their projection and that's how they wanted it to look. Speaking of the UK, here's an app from the National Air Traffic Control System in the UK. They like the FAA. They're using Whirly Globe Mapley for their Airspace Explorer app and it can display a ton of planes all moving at once using shaders. We can also do marker clustering on the fly. Marker clustering is fun to look at. And let's not forget vector tiles. Everybody loves vector tiles. Here's an example where we're putting vector tiles on a globe, which is as hard as it sounds. What we're doing in this case is rendering the polygons into an image, combining it with the hill shades, and then putting those on the globe with vectors on top. So your roads and your rivers and your other features are nice and sharp, but we don't have any of those weird seams you might get on a globe otherwise. It's not required to do that, but you can. And we support a lot of data formats. Shapefiles, GeoJSON, a lot of other obscure stuff, including GeoPackage. You either know what GeoPackage is and you're excited to see it, or you don't really care. But I'll tell you anyway. GeoPackage is this SQLite database that contains images, vectors, lots of other stuff. It's kind of overly general, but you can still get data out of it. And it's a really nice compact way of doing certain kinds of data. The toolkit can support it, and in fact, it works quite well. So that's Whirly Globe Mapley. Here's another random map that uses it as a 3D display of data. But that's not important. Your app's important. What is it that you want to make out of Whirly Globe Mapley? Go ahead and give it a try. It's free after all. There's documentation. 
Just download it and go. And if you come up with something cool, let us know and we'll put it on our website.